Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I've got one of the coolest cord cutting things I've seen in years. This is a new feature that's coming to the Channels app. It's currently in beta. And what I'm doing here is watching four different channels at the same time coming off my TV antenna on an Apple TV. And I can very quickly switch from one source to the other here and back out and get my four-way split here. This is super cool. And again, this is all coming in over the air using an HD home run tuner like this that's upstairs next to my antenna. So we're gonna dive into this feature and what it's all about in just a second. But I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is not a paid sponsorship from Channels or from Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD home run. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and they have not reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and dive into this new beta feature that I think is one of the coolest things I've seen in years. Now I wanna give credit to Jared Newman and his cord cutter confidential column. I found it on PC World here and Jared did a great write-up about how this feature works. I wasn't even aware of it until I read his article so definitely check that out in the video description. He's got a good walkthrough if you prefer to get your instructions written versus visual. And if you're not familiar with the Channels app, it is a DVR application that runs on most platforms these days. And like Plex, it has a server component that you install on a piece of hardware like a mini PC or a network attached storage device. It supports hardware transcoding. It supports out of the home viewing. It's a great platform. It's not free, it's $8 a month, but they always come up with some really cool features like this. And in addition to tuning over the air content with an HD home run, you can also wire in your own custom channels and use TV everywhere channels that you might get through your cable subscription. So it's a really cool platform. I've covered it in the past and I'll put links to the videos that I've done about channels in the video description. So let's dive into this feature now and see how it works. All right, so for this demo, we're going to be using my HD Home Run Flex 4K that I've got upstairs. The way these work is they bring in TV over the coax here through an antenna and then they take the digital signals from those TV channels and put them out over your home network to connect up to computers, to phones, to servers like our channel server here, and then everything can get up and running. Now, what you just saw with that demo is not going to be allowable in the very near future if broadcasters get their way and encrypt our TV signals. We've been fighting this fight with the FCC now for two or three years, but there is a big decision on the horizon, and if broadcasters get their way, all of this cool innovation that you're about to see is not going to be possible. So it's really important that we all keep up to date on this issue and contact the FCC when we need to, uh, to let them know how we feel, because this is the kind of stuff that we're going to lose if the encryption is allowed to stand. So with that out of the way, why don't we take a look and see how this feature works. Now, this will work uh, with over the air channels. I believe it will work with the TV everywhere channels that you get from your cable subscription but it doesn't support virtual channels or your personal media. So it has to be a channel coming in uh, to the channel server live. Now, what we're gonna do first here is tune into our NBC affiliate over ATSC 1.0. My box upstairs can tune four different things at the same time. I'm going to go over to the uh, watch option here. And if I select watch, it gives me the option in the beta to do the multi-view, which I'm going to select. So now what's gonna happen here is I've got my first channel popping up here on the list, and then I've got all my other available channels below. So what I'm gonna do now is tune into my CBS affiliate over ATSC1. That one is coming up now. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the end where my ATSC3 channels live, and I'm going to select my Fox affiliate over ATSC3. And then I'm also going to select my ABC affiliate here over ATSC3. Now four is the maximum, and we've got now all four sources tuned in. And as I navigate here, the active audio will switch to whatever window is the active one. So let me turn on the audio briefly here so you can see how it works. So right now we've got this window up. Now we've got this one, that one, and that one. And then what I can also do is click on one of the windows to make it larger. So we've got now the uh, Fox uh, broadcast here front and center, but I can still see what's going on with the other ones. If I tap again, it goes full screen, but the other ones are still in the background. So I can very quickly go back here and swap out that central image with something else. And then of course I can change to a different channel. Now to change channels, you can do it a couple of different ways. And by the way, hitting back, it's back to your quad view here. So if I wanted to swap out, let's say this one, I can move my button over here, hold down, and I can either replace the channel or remove it. So I'm gonna replace it. 
and what we're going to do is select maybe one of the other CBS uh, side channels here. So this one's going to get swapped out with the side channel. And there you go. So you can very quickly adjust what goes in each bucket here uh, very easily. Again, four is the max, and it appears to be working quite well. I did notice a little bit of frame stutter on uh, this as I keep playing around with it. This could just be a beta issue. When I go full screen here with the uh, channel, it does seem to work itself out, but it's still a little stuttery here. So I think there's some beta hiccups here that they got to work on, but uh, this is how it works, and I think it's pretty cool, especially if you're a sports fan trying to keep track of a couple of different games simultaneously. You can do that now with your HD home run device because most of these support multiple channels at the same time. Here's it running on my iPad. This is my little iPad mini here, and it runs pretty well here too, and I can pretty much navigate the interface the same way we were doing earlier. The only difference is that to get back to the quad view, I have to hit that little back button there, but pretty cool. And it seems to work uh, quite well. So yeah, this is a lot of fun and something that I think has a lot of potential here, but also has great potential to be uh, disappeared if the broadcast conglomerates, these multi-billion dollar organizations, uh, decide that they want to restrict the way viewers watch television, which seems to be their goal. Now on the server side, the Channels app allows you to add additional sources here. So I could add another HD home run tuning device, for example. If you are tuning four channels at once, you're using four tuners. So if other people are trying to watch or record stuff in the house, having a few extra HD home run boxes might be useful there. You can also connect up your TV everywhere sources here. These would come from your cable or streaming provider. They support a lot of them here. And what you do is select the one that you're subscribed to. You type in your username and password and then any of the cable channels that you're allowed to watch through the apps that your provider provides will also work through channels here. It sometimes can be hit or miss, but in prior testing, it worked quite well. I no longer have a cable subscription, so I couldn't test this with the multi-viewer there, but I think the TV everywhere stuff works. And then you can also add your personal media here and actually build out virtual channels where you could have a Star Wars channel, for example, that just runs Star Wars on a schedule all day long. This will not work with the quad tuner that we just looked at, but this might be something I'll cover in a future episode because I know a lot of you are interested in building out your own virtual channels that can run on a schedule. So there you go. That is, again, one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. It seems to work quite well, even in its beta form here. You do need to sign up for this through their beta page. You have to have an active subscription. Additionally, you will need to run the beta app on your device for this to work. But if you're willing to go through all those steps, I think you might have some fun with this. So that will do it for this one. We'll be back with some more things with channels because as I've been poking around today, there are some things I want to cover. So stay tuned for more. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.